the stack of books I was carrying. I... Uh, are you... Are you okay, sir? Oh, thank goodness. I'm so happy you're not hurt. Uh, what? Oh, no, I, I'm not hurt. I... I... I, uh... uh oh. My. Goodness. You're... You're my... I mean... Can you smell it too? You can? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're my life mate. I never thought. It wasn't... I mean... What? Huh? Oh! Y yes, I'm fine. I'm sorry. I just wasn't expecting. I mean, I never imagined finding my life mate. Am I... disappointed? No! Shh! Sorry. No, I'm not disappointed. I'm a little surprised more than anything to find another tree frog. Our kind tend to stay away from cities. I I never imagined I would ever find my life mate here. You were in my city this whole time. My what? My Oh, my name. Shh. Sorry. My name is Emma. Emma Hyladay. What's your name? Wow. That's exotic. Gabacho. <laughs> Wait. You're not related to Yvonne Gabacho by any chance, are you? She's your mother. Your mother is one of the prophets of Leonis? Of course I know who the prophets are. They're the leaders of the Lycan Beast religious movement, the teachings of Leonis. We actually have an entire section on Leonis here in the library. I, uh... <laughs> I tend to dabble a little in my spare time. Did you know that the teachings of Leonis have only been around for 400 years, despite lichen beasts appearing a full f hundred years prior? The group who started the movement called themselves the Prophets of Leonis, claiming to hear a voice of a lichen beast goddess in their dreams. What? I'm... I'm cute when I get excited? Oh, I I'm sorry. I, I, I tend to babble a little when it comes to the things I've read. I've always loved reading and sharing the things I've learned with others. <laughs> I guess that's why I work in a library. What about you? What do you do for a living? A mechanic? That's impressive. How long have you been working with cars? Oh, so you and your dad used to bond over engine repairs when you were little? That's so sweet. Do you work in his shop? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. How long ago did he pass away? Three years? A stroke? So it's just you and your mom now? I see. So your mother has devoted all of her time to the teachings of Leonis. I mean, it makes sense. She's been organizing a lot of rallies and protests lately. <sighs> My parents will not shut up about it. Hmm? My parents? Ah, uh, sorry. My parents are Conrad and Grace Hyliday. You know... The judges? They're not exactly what you would call religious. 
People like your mom really irk them. She's not technically doing anything illegal, so the most they can book her with is disturbing the peace. But that doesn't really carry too much weight. Really? Your mom has been complaining about my folks, too? <gasps> oh my god! What are they going to say? <sighs> You're right. We'll worry about that when the time comes. For now, why don't we find somewhere to sit down and get to know one another? After all, if we're going to go through with this whole life mate process, I think we should at least learn the basics. Really? A vintage Model T? And he wants you to help restore it? Wow. Being a mechanic is definitely not what I expected it to be. I thought all you guys did was hang out in your garages. Oh, that's why you came into the library today. You were trying to find a book on old engines? Oh, well... I'm sorry I distracted you from that. I didn't expect to run into you. Oh! You're... Ha happy you ran into me? Well, I, I mean, I'm very happy too. I still can't believe that I met you at all. I, uh... I'm not gonna lie. My parents told me for years that waiting around for your life mate was a waste of time. That I'd grow old and die alone if I relied on fate to provide me with the perfect partner. <sighs> They've been trying for years to sign me up for the gland removal surgery, but thankfully they need my signature to agree to something like that. What? Oh, no, no, they're not... controlling. They just care about me and want me to find happiness like they did. They both got the surgery to remove their mating glands as soon as they came of age, and they said it was the best decision of their lives. But thankfully, I no longer have to worry about that. I know that we shouldn't rush into things, but I can't wait to learn more about you. I do hope you two are enjoying yourselves. Oh, hi, Nicole. Allow me to introduce you to my, uh... <laughs> my life mate. Uh, this is Nicole O'Hare, the owner of this library. It's a pleasure. Eh, my dear, you know I'm as much of a sucker for faded romances as much as the next here. But could you please clock out all before I have to pay you overtime? I've already let you slight all your afternoon duty, so you get to know muzzles here. <gasps> oh my goodness! Has it really gotten that late already? Sorry, Nicole. Uh, be right back. Oh, you, you take your time, sweetie. Oh, she is such an angel. All right, boy, listen up, because I am only going to say this once. Break her heart and I will break your bones. Emma's a good girl with a big heart, but she's far too naive and trusting. If I have found out that you've taken advantage of that, they'll never stop finding your body. Good. I'm glad that we came to an understanding. Okay, I'm all set. Uh, the library won't be closing for another hour. Would you like me to show you where you can find the books on antique cars? Uh, oh, you'll you'll just pick it up some other time? Y you want to spend more t time with m me? I, uh... 
Yeah, I like that. Bye, Nicole. Oh, have a good evening, dear. And muscles. Remember what we discussed. What's she talking about? Hmm. Let me guess. She threatened you with bodily harm if you break my heart. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me. The woman's 87 with the spunk of a 15-year-old. She means well, though. Oh, wow. I didn't realize how late it had gotten. The sun is almost down. Hmm. Looks like it's going to rain. See those dark clouds coming in? <laughs> it's a good thing we tree frogs don't mind a little rain. Otherwise, I'd be much more annoyed with my lack of umbrella. What? My car? Oh, no, I don't own a car. I only live three blocks away from the library, so I walk to work every day. Since I don't have to pay for things like gas and auto insurance, I have a little more breathing room for other things like rent or groceries. What about you? Where's your car? <gasps> Is that a 1981 Harley-Davidson FXS 1340 Lowrider? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm not the brightest when it comes to cars, but my uncle was a huge motorcycle enthusiast, so I kind of grew up around them. He would always take me out on his 2018 Keyway Superlight. Yeah, we were really close. Uncle Daryl found his life mate early on, and they were going to have a baby, but... There were complications, and he ended up losing both of them in the delivery room. So, when I was born, my uncle made it his life's goal to make me as happy as I could possibly be. He was always so supportive and fun. He would tell me about all of the places he had been, and the things he had seen. I can't tell you how many hours I spent reading up on motorcycle upkeep and road laws. For years, I wanted to buy my own so that way I could ride across country with my uncle. But, uh, my parents weren't too keen on the idea. They convinced me that it would just be a waste of money, and if something happened to me out on the road, then they wouldn't have any way of getting me help. What did my uncle think? <laughs> that my dad is too uptight. Apparently the two of them were constantly butting heads growing up. Uncle Daryl always used to tell me to carve out my own way. That I could do anything if I set my mind on it. I... miss him. What happened? Oh. He and my dad got into this huge argument. Honestly, that wasn't anything out of the ordinary, but... Uncle Daryl really wanted to take me on a cross-country trip with him to show me the world. I, uh... I've never left the city before. I was born and raised here. I haven't even been to the next town over before. <sighs> well, my dad clearly wasn't too keen on the idea, and told Uncle Daryl that he needed to stop trying to use me as a replacement for his own daughter. My uncle got really upset and left the house. I haven't seen him since. How long has it been? Um, I think about four years, but it might be five. I still try to call and text him on his birthday and holidays, but he never responds. I, uh, I really, really miss him. You felt the same after your dad passed away? I know it's really harsh of me to say, but I'm happy to have found someone who understands what I'm going through. I just wish you didn't have to lose your dad. I'm sorry for your loss.
plans for making it home before it rains. You want to walk walk me home? <laughs> I I mean, I, well, I mean, if it's truly no problem, then yeah, I'd love to walk home with you. Oh, but what about your bike? You'll come back for it? Are you sure? Uh, okay. Wow, it's really coming down, huh? <laughs> Feels great on the skin, though. Oh, watch out for that puddle. <gasps> hey! Oh. Well, you're just an overgrown child, aren't you? Hm. Two can play at that game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... I'm really happy I got to meet you today. I still can't believe we've been in the same city this whole time. Life sure has a funny way of working out. <laughs> This is me. Hmm? Oh, no. I don't work tomorrow. What? A coffee date? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'd like that. There's this cute little shop downtown called the Cayman Cafe that sells great coffee. Want to meet up there, say, two o'clock? Great! Well, uh... Good night, then. I'll... see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, my little dollies. I'm Little Ragdoll, and I'm here to say thank you all for enjoying my content and helping my channel grow. I wanted to give a very special shout out to this week's Patreon plushies who have gone above and beyond to support me and help me create even more amazing content for you all. If you'd like to join my Patreon, you'll find the link on my profile as well as the link to my Discord server where you can chat with me and get to know the other amazing people in our community. Thank you again for allowing me to share my stories with you all. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of my weekly videos. And remember, stay safe, have fun, and I will see you in the next video.